Hi, Mel. Jackie. I hope I'm not interrupting. I know the last time I came, I kind of barged in. I'm sorry. I'm really glad to see you. How do you feel? Fine. I talked to David, Mel. I know. He told me. Is it true, then? Did you really want to marry me before you knew I was pregnant? Yes. I kept trying to tell you that. I made such a fool of myself. I'm so sorry. It's OK. It's one of the things I love about you. You're passionate. And all those things that you said about how happy you were, that David and Kelly are grown up? They are grown up. But there's a baby coming that needs us. Both of us. Oh, no. <laughs> Hang on a minute. Arlene, uh, there's a box on my desk. Could you bring it in here, please? What are you up to? There's something that I've been meaning to give you. Here it is. Thank you, Arlene. Thank you, Arlene. Oh, sorry, I'll be at the desk if you need me. I was going to wait till tonight to give this to you, but what the hell? I want to marry you, Jackie. I want to spend the rest of my life with you and our child. Will you marry me? Oh, Mel. Yes. Yes. Oh, Kel, how sweet. Steve sent you a Valentine's Day card. Yep. Good thing I sent him one. <laughs> Dinner is almost ready. Wait, I want to make a toast. Sparkling cider all around. To new beginnings. To you, Jackie. And to babies born of love. Well, this is one Valentine's Day I'll never forget. See, Cal, I told you everything would work out. Yeah, I guess it did. Well, if you guys are getting married, that means you two are brother and sister. Oh, my God.